So, you want to go to the beach, but you live on the moon. Well, I think you might not want to worry about that because you got bigger problems. I'm not going to lie. Hey guys, I'm Matas by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make an ice material. I've actually done this in the past, but some people were saying it doesn't work exactly the same. So, here I am back in Blender 4.3.2. Taking a look at it today, once again, we have literally four nodes here that make up this beautiful ice texture material in, in, in Eevee. Um, so, the first one we have is, of course, the principal BSDF, um, and the only settings that I change is that the transmission is on uh, 1, it is on 0 by default, um, and then I made sure that the IOR uh, is uh, 1.309, that's the only thing I changed, and then, of course, I added a very slight blue color, you can add, you can change it whatever you want, obviously, ice is a slightly more blue tint than not, so that's the uh, color that we have because when it's white, it looks like that, which looks nice, which looks great, but if you add a little bit of saturation to it, it can look very, very nice and icy. There you go. So, um, after that, we have a color ramp node, so to add this, go ahead and hit Shift A on your keyboard and just search for color uh, ramp, and right there, boom, you grab that, put it down, um, and then the color of the color ramp is going to go into the roughness of the principal BSDF shader, um, and then after that, all I did was just drag this white down a little bit so it gets a little more, so it looks a little bit more solid because like this looks a little, I mean, this looks fine. You could probably use this as ice, but I think when you pull it down a little bit more, it has a nice little uh, transparent and solid kind of feel to it. So it looks like it's maybe like packed ice, maybe it's like snowy and icy. It looks like there's like wetter spots and like darker spots and lighter spots and everything like that. Um, and then after that, we have a bump map a node, which is shift a search and then just search for bump and grab that bad boy put it down right there now the normal is for the bump is going to go into the normal of the principal bsdf shader um and then the only thing i did with this is i put the strength on 0.5 and the distance on 0.3 and then i checked invert because without invert checked it it kind of looks a little strange because it, it it's you know carving into the ice instead of having it come out whatever you know what i mean it just looks more like ice when it's on invert basically is what i'm trying to tell you you know what i mean um, not that I'm an ice expert, I mean, I, okay, anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add one more, uh, node, which is gonna be the noise texture node right there, hit shift A and search for noise, there you go, B put that bad boy down right there, just where, right where it goes, right there, uh, what's wrong with me today, I don't, what's going on, um, anyway, I'm gonna put the color of the noise texture into the factor of the color ramp, and the color from the noise texture into the height of the bump, and then we're basically done. All we need to do is make sure the scale's on 5, the detail's on 14. I don't know why it's on 14.1. 14, 14, and then the roughness on 0.5, and distortion on 0.1. Now, of course, these settings you can change to fit whatever you feel looks good. Like, you can put this higher if you want, like, you know, more uh, small little bumps and stuff like that. But if you want it bigger... Oh, okay. Well, first, um, let's make sure that your sphere um, has smooth shading on it. Um, make sure everything looks nice. So let's just go up and uh, real quick, let's just uh, view uh, 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 object sh uh, shade smooth. There you go. That looks way better, first of all. Um, second of all, uh, maybe don't go down as low as to one because that looks kind of just like stone. So I think the lowest you'd probably go is maybe three. Um, but I did have mine on five. Um, like I said, you can do like 12. That looks kind of cool depending on what you're doing, you know. Um, but for this, I think I'm going to go maybe... We'll do seven. No, we'll leave it on five. So I, I'll leave mine on five. And if you want to do something else, you can do something different than that, of course. Um, you can do the same thing with these these values as well. But that is literally it. That's the entire ice texture. So some people were saying it doesn't work. It's very, it's pretty much exactly the same almost. So um, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little ice tutorial. Also, one last thing before we go. Um, the cool thing about this is that it actually is, it is translucent a bit. So you can shine things through it. So I have a secondary light under here, but it's turned off. So if I go ahead and put this light on, you can see that um, the, the light come, comes through right there and then it shines through the ice. How cool is that, dude? That's the coolest thing in the world. So you can literally just like, you know, have any color just shine straight on through there. Like there's, you know, some kind of fire coming through the ice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's pretty cool. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, but, uh, but yeah, until then, bye-bye.